The Middle East is divided by many conflicts and controversies. Politics, religion, race, and nationality form a dangerous mix. But not all is grim. One subject remains beyond dispute: food, Middle Eastern food, and lots of it. It doesn't matter whether you're a Middle Eastern Muslim, Christian, or Jew. When it comes to falafel, shawarma, or barakas, you're probably hooked. In order to learn more, we decided to visit two of the most renowned eateries in Israel and the Palestinian Authority. Our first stop was at Iftim's Falafel. Established in 1952, this falafel restaurant claims to be the oldest in Bethlehem. Palestinians from all over the West Bank come here to enjoy these deep-fried chickpea balls, known as falafel. The Church of the Nativity, said to be the spot where Jesus was born, lies just 200 yards away, and so Iftim's is also popular with pilgrims. Falafel is a famous Arabic food. We have a special skill when it comes to preparing falafel. We put in it hummus, onion, garlic, coriander, cumin, parsley, salt, and other ingredients. Now over to Jaffa on Israel's Mediterranean coast, just south of Tel Aviv. Abu Lafia is famous for its filled puff pastry burekas and other flowery delicacies. Established back in 1879, this restaurant is famed throughout the country. People from all over Israel come to us. Jews, Americans, Arabs, people of all religions come here. The Israeli-Arab conflict hasn't disrupted business at Abu Lafia's, but when the company wanted to expand out of the Middle East, something else occurred. We were about to open in New York, but then 9/11 happened, so it was rough. It was a done deal, and then we froze it until things calmed down. So, if you're an American planning a trip to the Middle East, be sure to put cafes like Iftim and Abu Lafia on your must-see and must-eat list. And if you're not that lucky, just wait, and maybe they'll come to you. Just look at it; it is so sexy. <laughs> Bakasha, what's your favorite thing to eat?